I'm Joss from edubconversions.co.uk and today we're going to be talking about this battery box that's ready for our Morris miner behind me. This is a 20 kilowatt hour battery box and the reason we've chosen these eight LG modules uh, is because, well, mainly they get to the voltage that the AC34 motor needs. Uh, these are 4P3S motors. I need to read that on the side because I keep forgetting. I keep getting them switched over. It's not great. Um, 4P3S modules, which to me, basically the only number I care about is that number three, which means I need three tap harnesses coming from this battery management system into each of these modules. So each of these tap harnesses are monitoring the voltage of each of the cells inside here. This battery management system is a really clever piece of kit. Not only can it measure battery voltage to tell you your state of charge, um, as well as other things, uh, it can also measure um, temperature. So each of these has a thermistor in them. Uh, that's really useful for measuring state of health and to make sure there's no problems going on inside these battery box. As well as that, it's talking to this current sensor here, which is measuring coulombs, whatever, if that's even a thing, I have no idea. Um, measuring coulombs, which is also informing the state of charge calculation that the battery management system is doing. Of course, the state of charge is really useful for you to know you've got a fuel gauge on your dash, I'm sure, all of you. Um, and that's just a vital piece of kit that we need. Uh, as well as this batch management system, we have a con contactor junction box. The contactor junction box does what it says on the tin. It controls the contactors. Uh, so there's a pretty clever system going on here, which is called a pre-charge circuit. Um, what that does is takes any inrush current coming from the capacitors in the motor to prevent any damage in the battery modules. Um, so before the main positive contactor here closes, it will close this smaller contactor, enable a circuit through the pre-charge resistor, which softens out that curve a little bit. Uh, so that's a really, really useful piece of kit, prevents any damage. Uh, the whole system with this battery management system is there to prevent any damage to yourself, the batteries, the motor, any of the gubbins that are going on. It is enabled by a bunch of other things that we can um, integrates into the system. So it's got this entire loom coming out the back um, that will only go live when certain parameters are met, when the batteries are happy, when the um, state of charge is happy, and when I tell it I want it to be happy. So that's what our EDUB control board that I've mentioned before is doing, is telling it when to be happy. Uh, as well as that, we have um, these auxiliary fuses here. Uh, these are three fuses that are going to the DC-DC converter, or your alternator in layman's terms, uh, a charger, and a high voltage heater. Um, so there's a high voltage heater contactor here, which will only make that high voltage, which is going to be in the cab in this build, uh, it will only make that high voltage live when it's happy in certain situations as well. I think what I'm really excited about with this build is how tidy I've been, I think. Uh, we've managed to um, P-clip and tidy back all these cables, make sure they're nice and wrapped, make sure they're not rubbing on anything to make sure that none of these cell tap harness looms uh, are gonna short together or short to chassis or anything like that. It's really, really important, mainly for the protection of the battery. If any of those short, then you may well blow a fuse in the battery or even worse, you'll blow a fuse in the battery management system. Uh, and that's not fun, trust me, I've done it. Uh, we have spent a lot of time developing this contactor board on here to kind of integrate everything into one box. This is the only box that we're going to add into this vehicle. This and the motor are the main components that make this now electric. Um, so we have made sure that none of the high voltage gets out of this box unless the BMS is happy, unless my EDUB control board is happy, and, and a bunch of other things. Obviously, it needs to make sure that you can't dry whilst you're plugged in, all sorts of other things that make this a really, really clever piece of kit. We have planned every single buzz bar, every route of every single cable to the millimeter. So we've, rather than going with cables inside the box, some huge 70 mil cables that you may have seen in my previous videos, uh, we've gone with buzz bars for the majority of this board. In fact, I don't think there's a 70 mil cable inside this box at all which makes my job a lot easier for assembly, and it just makes the whole box and the whole build a lot safer as well. 
We've also planned the routing of the high voltage outside the box. So we've got a socket on the back of this box here and it comes up to the inverter controller sat on top of the box here. And then the three cables from the inverter then go down to the motor straight behind this box as well. We've planned the route of all the low voltage IO and the three auxiliary IOs, um, high voltage IOs that we've mentioned before as well. So really all that's left for me with this box it's to drop it onto our custom subframe that's sat in the vehicle right now. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier for me in this as well because I'm used to throwing it up from underneath the camper van, um, whereas this time I'm able to throw it down, um, which is gonna be a lot easier for me to vault that thing in. The whole system is made to be as repeatable and as simple to do as possible. So I turned this out in a couple of days, just this bit part here. There's been a lot of design work that is kind of working towards a goal of making this repeatable so that we can churn these out as quick as possible. Um, so if you have a Morris Miner of your own and you'd like to convert it, then we have a time scale for you. We have an out a price for you as well. Or if you're a garage and you'd like to try your hand at something like this, then please feel free to get in contact at edubconversions.co.uk and we can sort you out with something like this as well. So I think what's left for me really is like I say to drop this box in and I expect the next video you guys will see, hopefully fingers crossed, will be me driving this Morris around the car park and having a good feel for how it drives. So if you wanna be kept up to date with our future videos, then please like and subscribe. If you're interested in one of these conversions or a camper van or a Porsche 911 or anything that takes your fancy, then please do get in touch at edubconversions.co.uk. I think that's all the information I've got to talk about with this box at the moment. Uh, thanks for watching, see you soon.